So it's vax that thing up, but not wrap that thing up. Welcome to Unifier.tv, where truth has no fear. So I'm going to address something that uh, may not be well received. Of course, I'm going to be looked at as an anti-vaxxer. I'm not an anti-vaxxer. I'm against it, but I'm not going to try to push my beliefs on anybody. I do, however, encourage everyone to do their research. Uh, For me personally, I don't know if I could put stock into a vaccine that is still in the testing stage. It's something that they didn't even have time to have a clinical trial for to figure out if it even works. I'm not going to trust something as serious as a vaccine when I can look on the back of a bottle of aspirin and the FDA won't even stand by the statements from the results of what people say they get from aspirin. My point is, you can look at most over-the-counter medication and you won't even see a solid response from the FDA that says, this is found to be true. This can take away your headache. They're not even willing to get behind an aspirin, but they want you to trust a vaccine. Hence, we are quite focused on communicating directly with those people, hence our special guest today, uh, about why it's important to get vaccinated, why these vaccines are safe, why uh, they can still kill you, even if you are under the age of 27. We need to be clear and direct about our message. So me personally, that's why I have no trust for it. I'm bringing this up for a reason. Because there's this crazy stigma that white supremacy within our government is trying to wipe out the black race. I find that to be very stupid, it's very ridiculous, and it's very false. Now, if it were true, I say if it were true, how are they going about doing this? Case in point, uh, Mr. Daryl from Run DMC, and I'm ashamed to have the same first name as this guy. It's about community immunity. I'm talking unity for you and me. If Doc says it's good, trust me, it's good. Now let's all get the vaccine. There is none higher. DMC, I will inspire. Time for us to trust and not debate. The vaccine, believe it's safe to take. Okay, so with that, they're targeting the older crowd, the people who would actually know who he is. Some of these younger people don't have a clue who he is. So they're trying to get a little bit of the younger crowd with the graphics to getting the older crowd because of who they know him to be from Run DMC. So they didn't stop there, of course. We all know that the Democrats and the left, they like to try to identify with the black race by picking the most ridiculous of characters. We're talking about Cardi B. We're talking about some other crazy rapper. I can't remember his name. They're picking people who are very ignorant to try to reach you. So what do you think that says about how they look at you? That doesn't mean they're racist. They just think you're stupid. But they're pandering because they want this person to reach you because they know the influence they have on the black community because they want your votes. It's not about race, it's about numbers. So they didn't stop there. They went another direction and decided to use a soft, sweet, trust, trustable face and a real calming voice. This is our shot at returning to the faces and places we love and miss. The COVID-19 vaccines are ready, and so is Walgreens. So when you're ready, they'll be ready to give it to you safely for free. Okay, so this is our vaccine now. If you check out the website, there are some other races on there this is just their catchphrase this doesn't really target black people but this particular video does look at the background images look at who they used they're trying to push black people to get this vaccine they didn't stop there either unfortunately and it got a whole lot worse and i do mean a whole lot worse Girl, you look good, want your vax that thing up. Use a handsome young brother, want your vax that thing up. They in real life, you need to vax that thing up. Feeling freaky all night, you need to vax that thing up. Girl, you look good, want your vax that thing up. Use a handsome young brother, want your vax that thing up. They in real life, you need to vax that thing up. Feeling freaky all night, you need to vax that thing up. So, yeah, that, that did happen. 
So this is the where I have an issue. These black entertainers, you got actors, singers, rappers, they're all volunteering to push the black audience, the black uh, uh, crowd to get this vaccine, this vaccine that you cannot trust. If you prove to me that the vaccine works, I might entertain your thought process in getting it. I'm not going to get it, but I can entertain why you think it should work. But you cannot prove that it works because I'm not going to get into all that. That's a whole different rabbit hole. I'm not going to go down that way. I encourage you to go to V-A-E-R-S, V-A-E-R-S, to check out the uh, vital updated statistics on the adverse reactions to this vaccine. Not all of them result in death, but it's very significant. I've seen shingles on there. I've seen asphyxiation on there. I'm talking about kids to adults. Serious, very serious side effects, and a lot of them were fatal. So do your own research, inform yourself, but that's on you. My point is this, what's wiping black people out more? Some people say the abortion rates, killing black babies. No one is forcing a black woman to go down there and get an abortion. If you don't want to be pregnant, don't sleep with anyone or practice safe sex. But they don't talk about that in these commercials. If he could have been more creative with that and been much more respectable and said, wrap that thing up, and that would be a message to cut down on the abortions in the black community or the AIDS epidemic in a black community. I think it's slowed down a lot nowadays, but still, if you want to make an impact, do it for the right reason, not pandering. And then you're pandering your own people. We cannot blame the government. Even if there is someone white in these upper, upper, upper offices, there's a lot of black people in these upper offices and these local level offices as well, who are not doing a thing for the communities that you're fighting for individually because you're so busy wanting to blame a white person for everything that's going wrong. That's what they want you to do. They want you to have that divisive mentality, that ignorant mentality. You're not doing your own homework. You don't even know what's really going on. You're playing right into the hands of the left. You're playing right into the hands of the Democrats. It has nothing to do with race. They want your vote and they want you under control. So how do they do it? They do it emotionally and they do it monetarily and you're falling for it. So instead of vax that thing up, let's do wrap that thing up. They even use sexuality in the video to push you to get the vaccine. You look good. Vax it up. You're fine. Vax it up. Why not wrap it up? That's way more effective. That's way more effective. That is what's going to cut down on the so-called black genocide. They're walking you right to the office of genocide by pushing you to get this shot that you know nothing about, that they know nothing about. Well, they know enough to know it kills people, but they know they know nothing about the full spectrum of what could happen before they put it on the market. They want to hurry up and get it out there. There's a lot more to this. That's why it's called deep state. I'm not going to get into that rabbit hole. My point is this. You cannot blame a race for this. This is a political party. These, these are individual agendas. This is demonic. There are plenty of black people involved in this thing, too. So what else is their plan to get you vaccinated? Because they know they have to push really hard, right? They have to really drive it home. What else is their plan? Well, they're going to go to one of the most facilitated businesses in these inner cities. They'll launch a new initiative called Shots at the Shop. Barbershops, beauty shops are hubs of activity and information in black and brown communities particularly, but in many communities across the nation. Local barbers, stylists, they become key advocates for vaccinations in their communities, offering information to customers, booking appointments for them, even using their own businesses as vaccination sites. We're going to work with shops across the country to make an even bigger impact over the next month. I don't know. I don't know how you feel about that. But I know that if I were looking to get the vaccine, that would be a deterrent because you think that that is going to help me make an informed decision because you're using someone black, you're using rap music and you're using certain things that you think are going to get my attention rather than give me the facts behind it, rather than proving to me that it's safe. You're not going to prove to me that it's safe. You're going to entertain me. So I won't care. 
And if you fall for that, that is completely on you. But again, I digress. digress. Do your research, do your homework, and know who the real enemies are. Because sometimes your own people are the enemies.